Hello everyone. Am I audible? Anyone just confirm me? Yes, sir. Okay. So in the previous class, we have, we have had studied about the meridians, uh, true meridian, magnetic meridian, and the arbitrary meridian. Today we'll today we'll study about how to take the bearings with respect to the meridians. Okay. So see here on your screen. Is it visible? Four bearing and back bearing. So we'll study about four and back bearing today. Okay. The bearing of a line, whether expressed in whole circle bearing or quadrantal bearing system. So whole circle bearing system is the bearing of a line measured always in clockwise direction from the magnetic north. Okay. So see here, figure A, 5.3A, where I have line AB, right? So for line AB, I have drawn the quadrants north, south, east, and west. Okay, here the bearing shown as theta. Theta is the whole circle bearing of the line AB, which is measured always in clockwise direction from north direction. So from magnetic north. Okay, so in quadrantal bearing system, in quadrantal bearing system, okay the bearing of line is measured for it measured in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction from north to east or north to west or else south to east or south to west okay so that whole circle bearing system which you have studied in the previous class right in whole circle bearing system the bearing of line varies from zero degree to 360 degrees in quadrantal bearing system the bearing of a line varies from 0 to 90 degrees based on the quadrant in which quadrant it lies okay now so for which bearing we call it as a four bearing and for which bearing we call it back bearing that we will study now. so we look at the figure a 5.3 a so if your instrument is set up at point a if your compass is set up at point a and you are citing the point B from point A, okay? The bearing is called as four bearing. From A to B is called as four bearing. So if you set up your compass at B and if you cite at A, it is also called as four bearing. Four bearing of any line is the bearing of the next point from the instrument station, okay? From the instrument station, wherever you set up the instrument. If you are setting up at B and citing point A, that means that is four bearing of BA, right? Four bearing of BA. Next, back bearing. So from A, if you cite B, it is a four bearing. And from B, if you cite A, it is called as back bearing. So once you know the four bearing, okay, and you shift your instrument to the next point and you cite to the previous point means it gives you the back bearing. See here, considering First, whole circle bearing system and referring to figure 5.3a, the back bearing of line AB is 5. Back bearing of line AB is 5. Four bearing of line AB is theta here. Right? So, back bearing of the line AB is 5. So, always back bearing of any line is 180 degrees plus theta. 180 degrees plus theta or 180 degrees minus theta. So, if you see at figure b here if you see the figure b here from d to b the bearing is theta four bearing is theta okay the back bearing is phi here so the difference between four bearing to back bearing is always 180 degrees so because of that if you want to calculate back bearing So if you want to calculate back bearing of any line means, okay, you have to add 180 or deduct 180 from the four bearing of the line. So if your four bearing of the line is greater than 180 degrees, you have to deduct 180 degrees in that to get the back bearing of that line. So if your four bearing of the line is lesser than 180 degrees, you have to add 180 degrees to get the back bearing of that line. Okay. Okay. Now, okay, 
so is it visible now calculation of angles from bearings anyone confirm me anyone sir it is little blur okay wait is it visible now calculation of angles from bearings calculation of angles from bearings no sir it is it is not it is not visible wait now is it visible Calculation. No changes. No, please check once again because I'm sharing here. It is not visible. Okay, wait. Now, is it visible? Yes, sir. Calculation of bearings from. angles so now if the bearing of any line is given it may be four bearing or it may be back bearing using that bearing i can calculate the angle between those two lines right see here knowing the bearing of two lines the angle between the two can very easily be calculated referring 5.5a the bearing of line whole circle bearing of the line ab is given as theta 1 and whole circle of bearing of line ac is given as theta 2 Okay, the angle between line AB and AC is alpha. So how can I calculate alpha here? Alpha is nothing but theta two minus theta one. Theta two minus theta one. Right. So next, if you see at line BC here, line AB bearing is theta one, BC bearing is theta two. Right. So included angle between them is alpha here in this case. Right. So, the included angle alpha in the second case is one eighty degrees plus theta one minus theta two, or else you can say back bearing of previous line minus four bearing of the next line. Correct. Right. So always, always bearing of always uh, into included angle between any two line is back bearing of the previous line minus. Four bearing of the next line. If those two line the different quadrants, refer to Figure five point five a. The included angle alpha between line AC and AB is theta two minus theta one. That is, theta two is nothing but four bearing of one line minus four bearing of the other line. Both bearings measured from common point. Refer to Figure five point five b. The angle alpha is One eighty degrees plus theta one. One eighty degrees plus theta one is nothing but back bearing of the previous line. So once you go on measuring the bearings of the line along the geometrical figure, right? So this you have to apply. That is back bearing of the previous line minus four bearing of the next line. One eighty degrees plus theta one means back bearing of line AB. Back bearing of line AB. Back bearing of previous line minus four bearing of the next line. If you do, you will get the included angle here. Okay. Now, in quadrantal bearing system, right? In quadrantal bearing system, it is easy to calculate the included angle here, right? Because we will be measuring with respect to the quadrant here, right? See here, figure. See first figure. If you see, and line AC and line AB. the bearing of line ab is theta 1 bearing of line ac is theta 2 expressed as okay bearing of line ab i will express as north theta 1 east correct in quadrantal bearing system north theta 1 east and bearing of line ac is north theta 2 east because both the lines are lying in the same quadrant north east quadrant right so always quadrantal bearing system is expressed as from north towards east or west or from south towards east or west so now here in quadrantal bearing system calculation of included angle between two lines is theta 2 minus theta 1 in first figure 
go to the second one in different quadrants they are lying that is in northeast quadrant and northwest quadrant right so angle between them is theta 1 plus theta 2 now correct theta 1 is bearing of line ab theta 2 is bearing of line ac go to the figure c now theta 1 is bearing of line ab theta 2 bearing of line ac which are lying in northeast quadrant and southeast quadrant so included angle alpha between those two line is now 180 degrees minus theta 1 minus theta 2 you can see here 180 degrees this north south magnetic pole in 180 degree if you deduct theta 1 and theta 2 alpha will remain alpha will remain here now look at figure 4 look at figure 4 theta 1 and theta 2 are the bearings of two lines okay so to get the included angle here 180 degrees plus theta 2 minus theta 1 if you do you will get the included angle here 180 degrees plus th theta 2 minus theta 1 that will give you the included angle between the two lines so this is about calculation of angles from bearings whenever the bearings are given to you how to calculate the angles okay so calculation of angles from bearings whenever the bearings of the lines are given to you with respect to some meridian using those bearings you can calculate the angles between the lines okay now we will go for the next one calculation of calculation of angles from bearings is over now we will calculate the bearings from the angles calculation of bearings from angle in any traverse if it is if the angle is given in geometrical figure how to calculate the bearing that we will see right so can you see this figure 5.7 is it visible 5.7 anyone confirm me yes sir okay so this is reverse now they are giving the included angle to you you have to calculate the bearing see here alpha is given to you beta is given to you. alpha is included angle between ab and bc the angle is given now i need to calculate the bearing right the bearing of the line is bc the bearing of bc is theta 2 theta 2 is nothing but theta 1 plus alpha minus 180 degrees that means you read the sentence here add the measured clockwise angles to the bearing of the previous line always add to get the bearing of any line by using the included angle what you have to do add the measured clockwise angles to the bearing of the previous line okay so once you add it if that sum exceeds 180 degree you have to deduct 180 degree in that if that sum is lesser than 180 degree you have to add 180 degrees to that so this is the principle to calculate the bearings using the angles so i have angles between lines alpha beta gamma okay delta is given to you using these included angles i can calculate the bearings theta 1 theta 2 theta 3 theta 4 with respect to the magnetic north meridian right so to calculate that what principle we have add the measured clockwise angle that is first line if you see here for bc i am adding the measured clockwise angle angle is what alpha angle is alpha to the bearing of previous line bearing of previous line i have got it as theta 1 add it to theta 1 okay if the sum is greater than 180 degree deduct 180 minus 180 if the sum is lesser than 180 add 180 degree to that clear now we will look at one example how to convert the bearings and angles see here okay, is given first one convert the following whole circle bearings to quadrantal bearing system okay whole circle bearing first one is a, he has given it as 22 degree 30 minutes 22 degree 30 minute which lies in the first quadrant 22 degrees 30 minute means 0 to 90 degree it has it lies in the first quadrant so uh, how will i write it in the quadrantal bearing system from north towards east it is 
if i draw north south east west quadrant 22 degree 30 minutes lies in the first quadrant north 22 degree 30 minutes east okay next second one they have given 170 degree 12 minutes which lies in the second quadrant second quadrant is between 90 degree to 180 degrees the so reduced bearing system or quadrantal bearing of that that the line is 180 degrees minus whole circle bearing that gives you 9 degree 48 minutes in the second quadrant so i will write it as south 9 degree 48 minutes east south 9 degree 48 minutes east next third one i have 211 degree 54 minutes lying in the third quadrant third quadrant is between 180 degree to 270 degrees so i have bearing of the line as 211 degree 54 minutes that is whole circle bearing to convert it into quadrantal bearing system 211 degree 54 minutes minus 180 degree i have done so 31 degree 54 minutes from south to west so i will write it as south 31 degree 54 minutes west okay next one next we have 327 degree 24 minutes which lies in the fourth quadrant varying from 270 degree to 30 360 degrees so i will express it as quadrantal bearing system that is from north towards west the angle is 360 degrees minus 327 degree 24 minutes you, have, you can write it as north 32 degree 36 minutes west in the fourth quadrant okay so basic idea is called in quadrantal bearing system always the bearing of the line is expressed as from north or south towards east or west okay so next second problem we have convert the following quadrantal bearing to whole circle bearings so is given as north 12 degree 24 minutes east so this is the northeast quadrant that is the first quadrant right so 12 degree 24 minutes so whole circle bearing remains the same in first quadrant 12 degree 24 minutes second one we have south 31 degree 36 minute east so southeast is the second quadrant 31 degree 36 minutes so in 180 degree if you deduct 31 degree 36 minutes you will get the whole circle bearing as 148 degree 24 minutes next south 68 degree 6 minutes west from south towards west you have 68 degree 6 minutes that means 180 degrees plus 68 degree 6 minutes if you do you will get the whole circle bearing of that line next fourth one you have north 5 degree 48 42 minutes west that means fourth quadrant northwest quadrant okay in 360 degrees deduct 5 degree 42 minutes you will get the whole circle bearing of that line that is 354 degree 18 minutes okay this is how you should convert whole circle bearing to quadrantal bearing system and quadrantal bearing system to whole circle bearing system okay so now we will take up the example where we will be converting we will be calculating the angles using the bearings or bearings using the angles see here example 5.2 is it visible now see example 5.3 is it visible anyone confirm me yes sir okay so here one geometrical figure is given which is of five sides okay the four bearings of the lines all the lines are given to you okay using these bearings i need to calculate the included angles between them so line ab bc cd and de all the bearings are given to you see here 60 degree 30 minutes 122 degrees in the second quadrant i have taken bc line 46 degrees again in the first quadrant de 205 degrees in the third quadrant that is 180 degree to 270 degrees third quadrant 205 degree 30 minutes next e a that is 300 degrees in the fourth quadrant measured in clockwise direction those are whole circle bearings 
so what he is telling the following bearings were observed with the compass calculate the interior angles i need to calculate angle b a e a b c okay now b c d c d e these many angles i should calculate so what is the principle to calculate angles from bearings see here i have shown it to you calculation of angles from bearings this one angles from bearings zoom it so included angle is angle at any point is bearing of previous line minus bearing of next line that will give you the included angle for angle at a for angle at a so let me zoom it for angle at a if i require this included angle at a bearing of previous line minus bearing of next line previous line is ae here next line is ab so bearing of ae i require so bearing of ea i have that is 300 degree bearing of ae means a not a is nothing but back bearing of line ea so how will i get back bearing for ea line 300 degrees which is greater than 180 so i need to deduct 180 degrees that will be your back bearing of ea nothing but bearing of line ae see here bearing of ae bearing of ae is bearing of ea minus 180 degrees back bearing of ea bearing of previous line minus bearing of next line you do you will get the included angle come to angle b bearing of ba bearing of ba is nothing but back bearing of ab okay ab is four bearing is 60 degree 30 minutes lesser than 180 so plus 180 will give you back bearing of ab line bearing of ba minus bearing of next line next line is bc it is given 122 degrees so that will give you 118 degrees 30 minutes so like this you have to calculate all the included angles to calculate included angles you have to use bearing of previous line minus bearing of next line you do you will get the included angle at that point okay so now one more example i will give you for the assignment this one okay i will share this with you where the included angle is given 140 degree 10 minutes 90 degree 8 minutes 60 degree 22 minutes 69 degree 20 minutes okay using this included angle you need to calculate the bearing of the lines line ab bc cd and da the bearings you calculate using which principle here this one if included angle is given you can calculate the bearings using add the measured clockwise angles those are the included angles given to the bearing of the previous line if the sum is more than 180 degree deduct 180 degree if the sum is less than 180 degree add 180 degree using this you need to calculate the bearing of the lines now so this i will share with you example 5.4 study it the same principle they have used here to find the bearing of line okay add the measured clockwise angle to the bearing of previous line if the sum is more than 180 degree deduct 180 degree if the sum is less than 180 degree add 180 degree okay so i will share this with you write it in your assignment book so two we have studied today one is four bearing concept back bearing concept and we have studied calculation of angles when the bearings of the line is given and calculation of bearings when the angles of the geometrical figure is given so how to calculate bearing with with respect to the angles and how to calculate the angles with respect to the bearing that we have studied today so these two problems i will share with you and one more one more i have we have studied how to convert whole circle bearing to quadrantal bearing system or reduced bearing system you can say and how to convert reduced bearings to whole circle bearings okay that we have studied today one is whole circle bearing to reduced bearing conversion and one more is reduced bearing to whole circle bearing conversion and one is 
calculation of angles from bearings and next is calculation of bearing from angles these four problems i will share with you study this and if you have any doubt you can contact me okay so after this one, one concept is left in compass surveying that is called as local attraction that we will study it in the next class but i will define it now check it local attraction okay a magnetic meridian at any place is established by a magnetic needle which is influ uninfluenced by other attracting forces that means once you set up the compass the magnetic needle in that compass aligns itself in the magnetic north and south direction correct so but in some cases while performing the survey what happens in some cases while performing the survey what happens your magnetic needle get influenced by some other magnetic forces like on the field if you are doing surveying what happens some electrical line may go above the compass or some and internet or you know, any lines my fiber fiber lines may go below the ground right or uh, your 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 watch will be having some magnetic needles which will affect the magnetic needle of the compass to align itself in magnetic north and south direction right so because of that what happens it will show you some wrong readings that means it will be showing the readings which will be having some error right so we need to find out that error we need to find out that error and we need to correct it okay that error is called as local attraction the definition you can see here local attraction is a term used to denote any influence such as above which prevents the needle from pointing to magnetic north right so it prevents the needle to pointing to magnetic north so that is called as local attraction we should identify the stations which are affected by local attraction and we should correct the readings we should apply the correction so this concept is left first get used to conversion of angles from bearings and bearings to angles then i will explain you in the next class one problem is there i will explain you how to identify the local attraction at every station okay then how to solve it how to apply the corrections for those bearings of the survey lines okay so if this is finished your the compass surveying finishes in the next uh, after that we will go for one more module that is leveling okay so local attraction problem is left up to this you revise okay so in the next class i will explain the problem on local attraction and we will go for the next module okay thank you